today's video we're gonna we're melting uh, titanium so for this method we're using a metal pipe a blow dryer and an extension cord attach the plug in here and we're also using coals so um, let's see if we can pull this metal out see what happened here look at that it's melted see you see it's melting let's put this piece in there too um, so we're basically melting uh, titanium rods here. Um, you can see that thing is really, the coals are really, 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 really hot right now. Look at that, see? And it's hot enough, it should be hot enough to melt the titanium. Uh, typically the melting point of titanium, the temperature of melting titanium is about 60% higher than the temperature of, the, of uh, just a fire, just a, when a, what a fire pit gets to, right? So um, that means titanium takes a lot to melt. Now I gotta put my coals in there. Um, hot, 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 hot. And I have to be very careful here because it's so hot I can't even get close to it right now. I can grab those last ones there. Cut it like that. It's pretty hot in there, so I'll have to see what happens here. Let's see what happened now. Yeah, it's melted. Let's put that in there now. Um, we have some more. So we have some titanium right over here. I think we're going to throw some pieces in there and hopefully they melt. Put some more in there. Typically the melting point of titanium is about 10% higher. It's about 20% higher than the melting point of metal. So uh, we're going to need a lot of heat to melt titanium. Stick this rod in there. melted. I think we're running out of coals here. Still really, really hot in there right now. We're using a fan which makes it a lot hotter than without a fan. Make sense? Because you basically want to do here before you start the fan to heat up the coals, you want to have a fire and burn burn the wood. Once the wood turns into charcoal, you put the pipe in the coals halfway, put the fan in on the pipe so it gets the coals hot enough to melt titanium. Push that, let's push that rod in there. There we go. Wow, look at that, melted, see? Stick that all the way in there. Look at that, it's melting, see? And I think we have some more titanium right here. Uh, it's just a minute here, I got more titanium gonna melt. Look at that, see? Let's throw that in there and it melts. Um, I'm just gonna set my camera right here for a, for a few minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, um, I just put some more coals on just now. Um, that thing is really hot right now. See the metal even, start, the titanium even started to melt. Um, so for the temperature, for like if we're gonna if we're gonna be going up to these temperatures here. Uh, we can't use like uh, we can't use thin metal pipes because the metal pipe will probably melt, right? <coughs> Like for the temperature we're going to be using is about 4,000, 4,000, 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So, 
So typically with melting point of titanium, like if you're melting like big quantities of titanium, like the temperature can reach about 4,000 to about, it's about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Like if you're gonna be going up to these temperatures, like we're gonna, we can't be using a metal pot because the metal pot will burn right through, so. Um, if you're going to be going up to these temperatures, you gotta know what you're doing because uh, too much heat, if it doesn't get hot enough, it's not gonna melt, right? So. All right, here we go. See how hot it is there. It's melting. Yeah. Now you can see it's really, really hot now right now. I would say the temperature is close to 5,000 right now. It's close to, it's like, around 4,000, the six close to 5,000 degrees right now in there. Like not on the side, but on the bottom, on way right on the on the bottom of the the coals there. It's got at least 5,000 more. Um, I'm gonna set my camera right here.